Erica here from MaxSales.com. Today we're going to show you how to replace the hard drive cable in the early and late 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro. When you're upgrading your hard drive, in some cases the connecting cable may have become damaged or brittle over time and would need to be replaced. This cable is important because it connects your hard drive to the logic board. Replacing the cable is an easy process, but before getting started, here's some tips to make it even easier. First off, we recommend you watch the video all the way through so you have a clear idea of the process. Next, but just as important, we recommend you make a backup of your data. For details on that, you can visit MacSales.com. This job requires a few tools, a small Phillips screwdriver and a nylon pry tool. Make sure you have these ready beforehand, along with the cable, and some place to organize the screws like an ice cube tray. To help protect your computer, make sure you're working on a soft, static-free surface. And if you can, it's a great idea to watch the video on another device so you can follow along with the video step by step. Once you're all set, we're ready to follow along with our MacSales.com experts. After shutting down, unplugging, and closing your MacBook Pro, we'll need to remove the 10 Phillips screws holding on the bottom cover. Start with the three screws in the upper right, which are longer than the others. Then, remove the remaining seven screws. You can now remove the bottom cover and set it aside. The next step is to detach the battery. The connector is located next to the memory slot. Simply lift up on the connector until it comes free of the socket. Now that the battery is disconnected, we'll need to remove the hard drive. Loosen the two Phillips screws holding the retaining bar in place. Then remove the bar entirely. You can now lift the drive up and out of the bay. Finally, detach the SATA connector and set the drive aside. Now we can detach the ribbon cable. The cable runs across the top of the optical drive, along the bottom of the hard drive bay, and also has a component that attaches to the assembly in the front. To remove the hard drive cable, first we'll need to detach the ribbon cable by gently lifting it up and off the logic board. Next, remove the two smaller screws holding the cable itself near the top of the drive bay. Finally, loosen the two small screws holding the front assembly in. You can then peel the drive cable up from the MacBook Pro. It's mostly held in by adhesive. Once you've done that, you should be able to wiggle the front assembly free. We need to remove the circuit board from the drive mounting bracket. First though, we need to detach the ribbon cable that connects the board to the indicator light. To do this, lift up on the ZIF connector's latch to open the connector. Then, simply slide the cable out of its socket. Using your nylon tool, gently but firmly push against the back of the board until the adhesive comes loose. You can now set the cable aside. Take your new cable and peel the backing away from the adhesive on the circuit board. Then, line the board up in the same position the old one was in and press it into place. Make sure the latch on the board's ZIF connector is in the open position and slide the ribbon cable into the socket. You can then close the latch to lock it in place. We'll need to bend the cable so that it'll lay properly in the drive bay. Set the cable on your work surface with the bottom side facing you. You'll see four dotted lines. 
Bend along the line closest to the logic board connector so that it angles up. Then, moving down the line, bend the cable in the opposite direction. Do the same for the other two lines, alternating each time so that it makes a stair-step shape. Finally, bend the cable along this line so that it lays against the bottom of the bracket assembly. The cable is now ready to install. Peel the paper backing off the bottom of the narrow cable to expose the adhesive. Being careful not to prematurely stick the cable to the bottom of the drive bay, slide the front assembly into place and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Next, line the holes in the cable up with the holes in the MacBook Pro's chassis and use the two tiniest Phillips screws to hold it in place. It may help if you partially insert both screws before tightening them down. Next, make sure the cables sit flush against the wall of the drive bay, then press down on the narrow cable so that it sits in place. Finally, make sure the cable sits flat against the optical drive and reconnect it to the logic board by lining the two connectors up and pushing them together. You can now attach your hard drive by lining up the SATA connectors and pressing them into place, then setting the drive into the bay so that it lays flat. Then, you can secure the drive by putting the retainer bar into place and tightening its two screws. Line up the battery connector and push it back into its socket. You can then set the bottom cover back into place. Finally, replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the longer three in the upper right corner, followed by the remaining seven screws. Okay, we're done. Your drive should be working normally again. I'll see you next time for more installation videos and a variety of memories, storage, accessories, and more. Visit MacSales.com.